Cheryl Sloboda from So Much Cosplay. So cosplay is for everyone and elaborate costumes are great, but sometimes you want to wear something a little more casual and that's where making a comfortable hoodie to wear for your character is a lot easier than putting on all of that other stuff. For these cosplays, we are doing all sorts of different kinds of animals or creatures just out of a standard uh, hoodie that you can get from the store. You can be a unicorn, you can be a dragon, or you can even be a chicken. And you can add all the other details to the front of your hoodie once you're all finished. But what you're going to look for in your hoodie is uh, for a top seam so that we can actually do the insertion for our uh, character. So you're going to look for hoodies that sometimes they will have linings and sometimes they won't. But what you're going to look for is this top seam because that's what you're going to cut open. If your hoodie has a drawstring, you're going to want to take that out before you start. So what we've done is we've gone ahead and we have taken a seam ripper and we've just uh, opened up about four or five inches of the top of the hoodie from the lining just um, with the seam ripper just so we can keep the lining still attached to the rest of the hood. Then we're going to take scissors and we're going to open up the entire hoodie uh, based on the curve of our pattern. So what you can do is use the actual edge of your hoodie to create the curve of the pattern, and that's way, the way you can make any hoodie uh, pattern from any size hoodie, from a child size all the way to an adult size. So once you have the shape of the character that you want, um, you're going to take a pin and mark where the end of your uh, hoodie uh, top be ends, so that's where we're going to stop cutting. And then we're going to take our scissors and we're going to just cut all the way to that. Now sometimes a hoodie will have a little tab inside of here that attaches the lining to the top of the hood. And you can see here that what I have done is I have just trimmed that away uh, so that I can have this free floating uh, uh, lining, and that can be pushed out of the way when we actually go to create our, uh, so our, our insertion uh, into the hood. So to make the actual top, what we're going to do is take that drawing and we're going to transfer that to some foam. Now this is a foam that's fusible on one side and what this is going to do is going to give us some structure so that we can have the uh, part of the hood actually standing up on the top of your head when you put the hood up. So we want to have that little bit of uh, volume inside of the piece and that's where the uh, foam comes in. So once you have transferred that to your foam and you have cut it out. There's fusible on one side and we have fused that to one piece of our fabric and then we have backed that right sides together and now we're going to take this over to the machine and we're going to sew it. Now when you sew uh, along here, what you're going to do is sew just next to the foam. You don't want to sew on the foam and you don't need a seam allowance here either. So what we're just going to do is sew directly next to the foam. And what I do is I make sure that my needle is down Oops, down, there we go. And I'm going to pick up the foot and just pivot everything. So that gives me these nice, sharp tops to my little dragon hoodie that I'm going to make here. So I'm just gonna pick it up and set it back down and just keep going all the way around directly next to the foam. Now once you are finished and you go all the way around, then you're going to trim it to about a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna stop here because that's where I have previously sewn. And we are ready to trim. So once you have this finished, again, just very quickly, give this a little trim up and about a quarter of an inch left over is perfectly fine. We've got it trimmed all out and I'm just going to really quickly just clip inside each of the curves 
And now we're ready to turn it right side out. So we're just going to go ahead and press out all of our little spines. And if you feel like you need to give this a press before you insert it into the hoodie, you can. There we go. And you can use your turning tools. Sometimes you use whatever's handy. And there we go. So now I'm ready to insert this into my hoodie and I'm ready to pin. So what I'm going to do is it will feel a little unusual because you will be flipping it right sides out. And we're gonna start with the bottom and we're just gonna start pinning. And we're going to create it right along the edge of the, the hood. Okay, we are at the last pin here, and we're just going to take an extra step two and pin the uh, top portion of our uh, hood together as well. Just, um, this isn't part of the foam, but you are gonna sew all the way to this edge, so you want to make sure you pin that as well. So now, we're gonna put this uh, under the machine, and what I'm going to make sure I do is remove the uh, first pin that we put in as the uh, hoodie, you know, the, the stopping point, we'll just take that out so we don't poke ourselves with it. So now let's get this lined up. And sometimes the hoodie has to be in your lap in order to get it in the right spot. And we are going to make sure we're catching both sides of the hood itself. And be sure to pull out your pins You do want to make sure that your lining here is pulled way away from where your hoodie uh, hood is because you don't want to catch that and actually sew it directly to the hood itself. And again, we're just taking the time to pull out the pins so we don't sew over them. So we're just going to keep sewing all the way to the end of the hoodie. Okay, now that you are at the end of the hoodie, you just want to make sure that your two ends line up properly so that you don't have a little uh, uneven seam at the top. If you wanted to reinsert your drawstring, you would want to make sure that you opened these up and sewed all the way to the end of the fabric. But we're not going to put the drawstring back in this one, so we're just going to sew directly to the end of the hood. And if you want to backstitch here, you can. All right, and so now, when you turn this right side out, you'll start to see the hood form. And this is the time where you would want to fold under the front and re-stitch your lining to the actual top of the hood. So let's take a look at some of the examples that we have. And so here we have a, a unicorn and you can make that out of super shiny fabric. So you can create uh, the actual horn and the mane. And you can see that we've top stitched on the actual horn. Uh, we have the dragon. And we also have the chicken. So any kind of creature you can think of, you can put uh, into the top of your hoodie.